Hello, folks, and welcome to our numbers part of our channel. There it podcast, is. Yeah. There it is. Not really anymore. Well, I mean, that's it's, right, it's yeah. not that I was going to say podcast, but then I had to stop and think for a second. Nope. This is our. These are just separate these are just videos. Numbers, now. Separate videos, yeah. not part of the podcast technically, but part of the YouTube page. There you go. So why don't what we do as always start out with the Vomp numbers, our Vomp group, and see how. They did this week, how we did this week. Sure. Go ahead, Johnny. Uh, so this was a great week. Um, 68 warm responses. Oof. Mm. 18. Is that, that's that's got to be close to a yeah. record. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's way up there. Yep. Great. Who's counting? 18 auditions and nine jobs reported. Oof. Nice. Again, these are reported. We said almost every week, but. This is what's reported. And the breakdown is, is Christine Brito got one. Lisa Hennigy got two. Nice, Lisa. Way to go. Kimberly Young got three. Wow. Recurring client. Um, and she's fairly new with us, isn't mm -hmm. she? Yep. And we're seeing an influx of political ads. Mm. So if you're willing to do Forgot those, that, whatever yeah. side you're, whatever side you're on, I guess it doesn't really matter. But if you're willing to do them. Um, I'm more on the side of money. Yes, that's exactly. A, that's what yeah, I'm on. To me, it's whatever. <laughs> um, so Kimberly Young had some political ads that came in. Um, and so six. Is that six? That's six. Yep. Yeah. She got three plus. Yep. Six. Plus Christine. Okay. One Noel and two. got one from a recurring client. Noel, Noel Seven. Romano. Two more. Bill DeWeese got one. Hey. This was also a political. And a brand, that was a brand new client for him, right? Not a uh, No. Oh, it that was? was. Okay. He, he had one back Good. with him a while back. Nice, Good. Bill. That's yep. awesome. But, but, but let then, me just stop for just a yeah, second. Sure. He emailed me because we were emailing back and forth about some other things during mm -hmm. email marketing. And he said, did John tell you about the nice, warm response yes. that he got? So f about a political possible possibility, a, yep. a, a company that does yep. political things. So this is separate from this that. This is separate. Great. That one was, uh, I believe, in uh, on the East, East Coast. That mm -hmm. job was mm -hmm. from the nice. one that he got the job from. The and then he got a warm response. And full disclosure, this is just, this is, this is the proof that Vomp never sleeps. So I'm in bed. I had to get up early. And last night, <laughs> and I'm kind of half asleep. And... I feel this presence and it's Joe and it's Joe. Mm -hmm. And he said, sorry to wake you up, but did you see the warm, nice warm response for Bill? <laughs> so I got up and forwarded to Bill. It would be 1130 his time yeah. at night. Yeah. But that's just, we watch our phones consistently and that's We're what, always watching. Yeah. It's like the angels in the outfield, uh, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Right. So Christopher Lloyd. I think that's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're always that's, watching. We, Whenever we get one, even, you know, Joe's sometimes getting up in the middle of the night. If he gets up and will forward something, if he has it on his phone, I will do the same. And it's a so anyway, well, we were watching the Bengals game last night yes. against Miami and found out that Bill got a job and yep. we all cheered, not for the football game, but Correct. for, the, for, the, yeah. for his care. job. Yeah. Yep. And anyway, so that's another, like I said, the political ads are coming our mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. and this is from the west coast that oh, this good. one came in so it kind of makes both sides yeah it kind of makes sense from that coast they would have been kind of late yeah bill's you know. going coast to coast yep yep with political ads so then the last person <laughs> is justin Strait, and i think he's probably okay with us saying that he's on the lower end he's in the starter kit um paying wise i he pays i think I think he gets one of the lower amounts, 25 or 50. I can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. Emails. Yeah, but right. he's been with us for a while. Yep. And he got a job. Mm -hmm. And I think he's he's had a couple jobs on top of that. But he also, in that email that he sent back to us, commented about how much he sees the hybrid approach working. He just booked another job for, I think, it was a high, it was a high amount of money that he booked a job for on his own efforts. Great, good for him. Job, for Justin. His That's always marketing. more rewarding. Yeah. So anyway, Justin Strait, way to go on that, and uh, yeah, that just proves that all all levels stay with it, and uh, you'll you'll see something even at the quote unquote lower levels. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean lower levels of us sending out and how we do the process. It's all the same. It's just yeah. some people have differing budgets as to what they yeah. want to do, and that's right. great. And we. We yeah. want to work with them. So, yeah, I was just saying how in uh, 
in, uh, what was I saying? I don't know. You were saying it though. Oh, in my, in, in, in our Todd's tips, I was saying how I never tire of, uh, I don't ever tire of encouraging people to do direct email marketing because it, it works. Yep. And uh, you're going to find out with my numbers this week, how well it works. And again, it's not, I don't give my numbers to brag. I don't give my numbers to say, na 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 na. I just give them as an encouragement because if, if, if I were to hear the numbers, if I would have, if I would have heard the numbers that I get regularly for direct email marketing 10 years ago, I would have said, yeah, give me all of that. But I don't think it's probably going to work like that. You know, that sounds like a mm. scheme. It sounds mm -hmm. like, <laughs> but if you hang in there and you do it and you keep recontacting and you don't give up fishing, yep. you're going to pay off. Now that would be, you know, I send out thousands. My, my, my assistant sends out thousands a month now. But you pay for it. But too. I pay for it. Mm -hmm. And, and other people send out hundreds of month, months. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah. But anyway. But to your point about just, little bit when you talked about one of our a couple of our newer people and even some of our people that have been with us for a while it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna by direct email marketing you're gonna get a ton of different clients you might you might get a ton of different clients but you might have we have one that's just that keeps on coming back to this this one uh, lady that we work with and she's getting making quite a bit of money off of one so if you can just mm -hmm. get a handful or so mm -hmm. of of people mm -hmm. and just keep on sticking with it and things like that. Like you said, I mean, you can see benefits from just one or two clients um, yep. that can pay quite a few. You don't want to be necessarily stuck with that. Just those one right. client. That's why you always talk to yeah. diversify. Right. But you know, just, just because you don't have different pe a bunch of different people doesn't mean you're, isn't being successful. It's, it's recurring. That's huge. And so, I, and I want to, I, I want to really work hard when we get to my numbers of coming back to that. So remind yep. me about so, that. So treat your clients well yes, so that they keep yes, coming back to you. very much so. Yep. Because they're gold, as we oh, always wow. say yep. in the Facebook posts. Eureka. Anyway. All right. My week. I had six warm replies, two auditions. I had one new client. Mm -hmm. have one new client uh, just booked a $500 job direct email marketing direct job. email marketing new client and I'm doing the session <clears throat> Monday it was going to be today booked it today <clears throat> but uh, pushed it off till Monday so I won't put those for my numbers if you're keeping track I won't be putting those on my numbers next week so rest assured those are part of this week and then I had a two jobs on Fiverr and a job on Upwork and that was my first that I was going to talk to people about was that I've never had a Fiverr job, an Upwork job, and a direct email marketing client all in the same week yet. Obviously, because I just started Upwork a couple mm -hmm. months ago. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't really a big deal. But I've been looking to do that. And so I uh, three strikes and I was out this Ooh, week. You yeah. Did it. No, you hit for the cycle. I sure of, did. The diversity the cycle. There you yeah. Go. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. And then I did a bunch of editing for you for a grand total of nine hundred and forty-seven dollars. So nice. almost a thousand. Yeah. Not quite. Who knows? I could get something at the end of the day here. So that will be. You, I'll you know, try to get something before. When I was trying day. to make a hundred dollars a day back ten years ago, I remember get, having a week like that and thinking there was just kind of this. Ah, not, not so much that I wasn't getting ready to work on Monday again, you know, and marketing and marketing, marketing, but it was just kind of like, oh, good. I made my $500 mm -hmm. and I almost have $500 to carry into next week. And that was just always kind of fun to have that, that feeling of accomplishment. I feel like whenever I go into my next week, I'm always like that coach that says at halftime when you're up by like 30 points mm -hmm. in a basketball game or football, whatever. Hey guys, remember a score is zero, zero. So that's what every, oh, every week I go zero, you never zero, take a zero, zero. Never take a playoff. I never that's have. That's always been important to you. It <laughs> is. Yeah. Always been important to me. Anyway, that's a joke. Okay. So my week platforms, and this, this was all platforms this time, no voices.com. Cause I'm just the last few weeks I've been so busy. I haven't been doing any uh, auditions and that's oh. kind of where you get your jobs from. Voices.com. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but for Fiverr, it was, went off $3,388 yeah. on Fiverr wow. this mm -hmm. week. Tons and tons of jobs. Mm -hmm. um, and just a little behind the scenes thing, John and I are going to experiment with upping my prices just a little bit. Yep. Right. Yep. 
So platforms, $3,388. This next amount is my direct email marketing clients, not one new client. Mm. To, to I have recurring client. These are you're all back. recurring clients. So yeah, you're back you're to what we were talking about. Yep, back exactly. To that. And um, I have, old. just as a caveat, I have one client who I've worked with for probably six or seven years, <clears> and they're a very good client. They pay great. It's, it's e-learning training work, a lot of medical device stuff. Mm. And they have been hit and miss over the last probably 18 months. I'll get something maybe once a month average. So maybe four or $500 a month from them, but it's, it's, it's kind of tapered off, but they just contacted me and said, we're going to have like 10 to 15 videos that are almost 30 minutes long. And then we're going to have in two and a half weeks, we're going to have another 10 or so. And so mm. I had three scripts that were over $500. So that's $1,500 from one client in this number, but these are no new clients. And my direct email marketing clients were 8,000 $423.18, $8,423.18. My total was $11,811.18 for the week, $11,811.18. And that's why I don't get tired of telling people about direct email marketing. And we hang in there with VO Marketing Pro or with people like Justin and so many other people that say, hey, I believe in this and I'm going to do it. I'm going to have you do it. And I'm going to do it. Yep. And we're going to team up together yep. in the hybrid approach. And that's a winning combination because a lot of times people can do kind of specific, you know, like I want to do e-learning yep. or I want to do automotive. Medical. And then we do just mm -hmm. general stuff yep. and just keep sending out, sending out. When you have time, you can do it yourself. And that's how you make it in direct email marketing. I tell you, you can't beat that with a stick. Nope. Or you could. Yeah, but it probably wouldn't be good. Yeah. No. Dad's analogy is like he's got like a, he's got a pinata. And his those are his his pinata is his his returning clients and he's got a stick. Oh yeah, beating, yeah. Oh, beating, he's getting candy and the candy's yeah. dropping out. Yeah, that's yeah. a great that's a great great analogy. If you stay till the end, then <laughs> you've just got a a great analogy there. So thanks for listening to our meanderings and our numbers. So we will be back next week with our numbers and our Todd's tips, as always. So. Check out our podcast. It'll be coming out Tuesday, and it'll be the 27th episode. So see you later. Did you like that video? Check out more from the original Father-Son Voiceover podcast right over here. Or subscribe to our channel right here.